Let's talk about how to add a link out to Google Maps using App Inventor. So we just completed our website button here, which when we have our button connected to our activity starter for the website, we set to take us out to a specific URL. So the process for accessing Google Maps, if you're just going to do one of them and not a list of maps, is actually pretty similar, but there are a few differences. So we'll talk about those as we go here. First, we're going to add a button for our map. And we'll change the text here to view our location. And we'll change our font size to 20. And now you actually see that our button starts spilling off of the screen here. So when we get done with the nuts and bolts of our app here, we'll change these around a little bit so that they look a little more graphically pleasing. And as always, we're going to rename our button so that we know what it is when we get to the blocks editor. And we'll just name that maps button. And then you want to go to the other stuff shelf here and grab another activity starter. Again, this is how you access a website as well, but it is how you get to Google Maps. So we'll put our activity starter in there and we'll rename it. Call it Maps Activity Starter. Now we've got our activity starter highlighted. You can see in both areas it's highlighted. And we want to look at the properties section here. And we're going to have to type in a few things. So for the action, it's going to be the same as we typed in here for our website URL. But we're also going to put in the activity class and the activity package. So this is where it differs a bit from accessing just a standard website. And I'll type these in here one by one to show you. But again, in the online course, there's a text version of this tutorial that shows you exactly what you need to type in here. So for the action, it's actually the same as when we linked out to a website, which is android.intent.action.view. For the activity class, it's a little more complicated. It's com.google.android. Dot maps dot maps activity all one word there the maps activity is all one word now for the activity package we're going to type in com dot google dot android dot apps dot maps so now that we have our action and activity properties set, we can actually go open the blocks editor and I'll show you how to add the blocks to link out to a Google map. All right, so our blocks editor is open here and I want you to take a look at the website button dot click action that we just set up here in our last tutorial. What I want you to do is really the exact same thing except for when we get to this URL, we're going to go out to Google Maps and find a specific URL that will actually get you a map that drills down to a specific location versus being a larger view of an area, like the entire city of the location we're looking for. So we'll again start by going to the My Blocks section, which is where we put all of our component editor pieces, and we'll look for our Maps button. And so when our Map button is clicked, what do we want it to do? We first want to set our maps activity starter data URI. Again, this is when you're going to plug in a URL here. You want to use the data URI. So next we're going to add a text box here that we can add our URL to. So we can get there by left clicking the canvas, click the text option, and pick text. And we'll just plug that right in there on the end. And now before we go out and get our URL, let's go ahead and add our website activity starter dot start activity block. And that, as you may have guessed, is under the maps activity starter section. So we'll click on that and here's our dot start activity. We'll plug that into the bottom. Now let's go take a look at Google Maps and figure out what is the URL that we want to use. So we'll pull this down and we'll go look at Google Maps. I've pre-entered the business address that I want to use for this. It's for Open Road Adventures and you can see our little peg here that shows the exact location of the business. Now once you find the location that you want, you'll see a little link button here. You want to click on that and you want to just go ahead and copy this. So we've got that copied. We'll go back to our blocks editor here 
and I'm just going to go ahead and click in the text box and do the old control V to paste our URL in there and we see it shows up and I'll just save this real quickly and then we'll drag in our emulator and see how it works. So we'll click view our location to bring up our map. And there you have it. There's the map that we were looking to get into. We pulled that up from Google Maps and pulled out the correct URL so that we drill down all the way to this level here where we can see the actual business is listed. So that's a nice easy way to access just one Google Map. In our next app we're going to create a list of maps and that process is going to be a little bit different. It's a little bit more complex when we use the list picker.